Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again for yet another Jack specific 2.5 inch Super Mario video. Today, very excited. We have a new play set. We have a new diorama set. And then we have two brand new 2.5 inch Mario and Luigi figures. Now, to kick it off with the Airship Deck playset, the newest playset of the 2.5 inch collection. And for those of you that may not know, I'm a huge fan of the 2.5 inch Mario figures. In fact, as of this year, I have the world's largest 2.5 inch Super Mario collection and I issue a challenge to anyone out there for 2024. I would love to see your collections. Every single set, put them all together. Let's see what you can create because they are so much fun when you have all of these out with every character, every level, it becomes insane. And as of 2024, at some point, if we get a few more levels, I'm going to have to redo the video because I'm excited to add uh, the newest Bowser and the airship deck play set. On the back side of the box, you get to see everything that this set will entail. Some of the more recent ones have kind of gone either way for me, let's be honest. You can re-experience this classic level, of course, with all the characters included, but you will have to purchase the extra airship deck diorama set that is sold separately, and you can see they have the Toad House, the Bowser's airship. Here's the barcode. Now, as of this video, these have not hit store shelves. I grabbed mine off of Amazon. So if you're interested in any of this, I will have links down in the description below. Now, diorama set, you say. Well, pretty much every level that comes out from Jack Specific has this extra add-on diorama set with the parts and pieces needed to really build it up. And that is always pretty cool. Usually you get extra pieces you already have, but then you get a few new characters from time to time. Now, on the back side, you get to see everything that entails, including some uh, new additions, which I totally appreciate. It's always nice to get new characters and things to go in your little 2.5 inch world. Here's the barcode for this. Now, this one actually came from Entertainment Earth. I had ordered it a while ago. It recently showed up. And if you stay tuned throughout the end of the video, I will talk to you about Entertainment Earth, tell you about their sales and how you can get 10% off with my links plus free shipments, just in case you need some last minute Christmas gifts. Now, this was exciting because I was up north, Pacific Northwest, walked into a Walmart, and this is the first time I have seen the newer boxed 2.5 inch Jack specific Super Mario figure. So it was just really fun to find these, especially getting the new articulated Mario and Luigi. All the other characters within these sets I have and I have probably many times over. But Mario and Luigi, with their new articulation scheme, that was pretty cool. And then hopefully you can head into your local Walmart coming soon and utilize these barcodes to help you find your Marios and Luigis. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Jack Specific World of Super Mario 2.5 inch offerings, the Airship Deck play set along with the Diorama sets and two new Mario and Luigi's. Oh, and hey, well, I got all you Nintendo enthusiasts here. I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Super Mario videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys. We got new toys. We got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's -a go because we got everything out of the packages. You have the diorama set, and in the back, you have the level set itself. But yes, the diorama sets really do bring the levels to life. Now, this is the typical Mario figure. Yes, I do expect them to package in a Mario and or Luigi with every set because it's Mario and it gets kids a plan. But I have so many of these Marios, but it is painted well. It's nicely done. But keep in mind the limited articulation on this guy. Pretty much three POA. Now, you do get the ba-bomb. He's always cool. Again, probably have a dozen of these. You can wind them up and let them walk around, of course. But as I always say, I like to see variances. The ba-bomb is overdue. Put a little uh, spark on the top, like he's about to burst. Make it a different ba-bomb. 
going forward, that would be nice to see. We do have the Reds, but you get what I'm saying. New ba -bomb. Anyways, you get the Mecha Koopa, and this is the first time we're getting the awesome Mecha Koopa. Look at his googly eyes right there. Lots of articulation on this guy from the jaw to his little toy legs to the wind-up mechanism. That's cool. It doesn't actually wind up, it just twists, but he also has head articulation. So about five POA, if you count them, and he's painted beautifully. This is a nice new addition to the 2.5 inch collection. I love the jaw. I just love everything about this. But now we need a, a smushed Mecha Koopa, right? To really enhance our diorama set. So you got smushed and then you got this one that walks around. This is a new addition, of course, being the mini flag, right? So you have Bowser on one side. And I love, and I got to point this out, on the back of the packaging, it says two accessories with feature mechanisms. One of those is the warp pipe, and I'm thinking the other one is supposed to be this with the flag and how they build it, like, ooh, it, it twists and turns. Well, <laughs> kinda, you kinda just rotate it. Now, you will see that if you hold the base, yes, you can twist the flag itself, but you could just turn it. There's really no point. Anyways, I digress, it's a nice addition. And you get the red warp pipe, which, much like the bob -omb and the Mario, yeah, I have about a dozen of these. And of course, you love putting Mario inside the warp pipe. You get him all situated, you get the lever uh, going. Sometimes he stays, but you do the whole brr, 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 and he pops right up. And I know, as I enjoy doing it myself, because the platform, I'll tell you honestly, I wish it had peg holes just to kind of keep him more centered, but then you can't have fun popping him out, right? And I know kids probably love uh, doing that. Now, to look at the actual playset. Everything in the box is before you. Some assembly required. Parents help your kids. You get the same Fire Mario running with the stand. He looks good. He's painted nicely. I think I have about five or six of these. But you get him playing. You use your imagination. And you get on this little spinny mechanism right here. Which actually works just like the game, right? When you stand on it, it moves. You got to keep hopping. Then when you jump up here, you have to deal with the cannonball launcher. And on the airship, yes, there's a tons of these you have to dodge. It is on one of those cranky things in the back. It's very loud, okay? Now, it's supposed to simulate the cannon shooting the cannonball. And I totally dig that. But maybe if it was a little bit more fluid instead of being the janky, cranky kind of thing, that way kids could pull it to and fro and, and have it be a lot easier. Because even for me, it's a pain. Everything goes a flying. So you hop up here on the little ladder nets and you get to the top of the level. And I'll tell you honestly, I know that you're supposed to use your imagination to get up there, right? Kids have fun with it. How about a Mario that just clips onto the ladder? That would be kind of cool, right? Because that would just aid in the whole diorama experience. But I gotta say, again, out of more recent 2.5 inch levels, this one definitely has a lot more fun things to do and play with, especially for the kiddos. Because once you take all the Dio pieces that are included for the airship deck, Mario hops out, has to deal with the Mecha Koopa, flattens him, right? Boom, there you go. Jumps on to the little nuts and bolts kind of thing, dodges the cannonball, activates the bob -omb, hops up, grabs a fire flower, whatever, and then hits the flag, of course, getting an extra mushroom and turning it to Mario. You're good. You can now die at any point after the flag and uh, you know, head back, back to this starting point. So again, nice diorama, nice setup. That being said though, in 2024, I would still like to see a lot more new for the 2.5 inch collection like this. This right here, this is something I have been asking for and I think that we're off to a great start here because I didn't know how articulated we were gonna get, but this is very cool. So we have a brand new 2.5 inch Mario, and look what he does. You got legs, you got arms. He can get into a lot of different positions with all that articulation without really breaking up the sculpt too much. Like I think the four inch line kind of does from time to time. That's a very fluid looking Mario. You can get him walking. His gloves even rotate, his head moves. So roughly seven points of articulation on a tiny little 2.5 inch figure with great paint. Spot on likeness for about five bucks at the checkout line. Now, if he had a stand or some way to hold him, like the running Mario in the background, just to kind of get him more of that jumping position, that would be kind of cool. 
And I would totally appreciate that. Luigi is the same way. To go from the more three POA, kind of just stagnant, right? Which was never a problem because there's tons of Marios and runnings and jumpings and all that kind of stuff. But now you can move him on your own. And I got to tell you, this is a great addition, Jack Specific. I could not be happier with this. More of this, por favor, because Mario hops out of the warp pipe now, gets him a walk and deals with the Mecha Koopa and all that jazz with the bob bomb and Luigi's helping. And you hit the flag and that's just really cool. This really does add to the playability and the displayability for these 2.5 inch Mario sets. And I absolutely loves it. So that will wrap it up for my look and pretty much my year end roundup for the 2.5 inch Super Mario Collection by Jack Specific. And I got to tell you, this one was a lot of fun. The Mecha Koopa is fun. All the little working inner gizmos that harken back to the actual airship levels, that's in there. But in kind of connecting the airship, right? And then going into the newer Bowser's Lair, right? The final level when you knock him down into the lava pit. It's fun to collect and connect all these 2.5 inch levels. And I'll tell you, going into 2024, as we build up a few more levels, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull out everything again and do an updated video. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mario. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, especially around the holidays, it can't be Christmas without a little Nintendo Mario action. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.